All right, so what's up, Quad Squad? Back at it with another one. This one is 3D printed related. So I'm gonna show you how to relocate your power supply on the Neptune 2 DS. You know, it even works on Ender 3s and stuff like that. Uh, you might need to look for a little bit of a different version, but I think it was designed off of an Ender 3 re relocation of the power supply. Anyways, I did it because I wanted to put dual Z, um, dual Zs on it. So I did that, so I did relocate, and I wanted to put it under the printer, like, because that looks a lot better than just moving it back on the printer. Anyways, so I'm going to show you how to do it. GoPro did a great job of summing up all the key points, so I didn't have to do a lot of editing. Uh, that's why I'm just making it short and sweet. Anyways, if you have any questions about it or want any more in-depth into it, hit me down in the comments, and I'll be pleased to help you. Anyways, let's hop right into it. You didn't necessarily need to rotate the motor cord, um, although it said it in the instructions I managed. Um, I had to replace my legs because the legs that I had before, which are down there, um, they were a little bit of a problem because they stick out a little bit. Um, but anyways, yeah, here, here's the power supply, here's how it looks, and it looks awesome, and I think it should work a lot better. All right, so now last step is connecting my uh, light bar. I mean, I guess this can teach you how to connect the light bar at the same time. So you put the light bar up there, and you wire it, and it goes through and into the power supply. Put it through the hole. But wait a minute. So right now we have it fished through here, right? The wire. Yeah. Do we want to keep it that way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
under the leg of this printer. Yeah. Okay, so then we said brown to the right of me and blue closest to me. Can you see there, Nick? Yeah. Mm. The wrong screen there. Brown. It's clipped in. And blue. Okay. All right. Everything's screwed on. Oh. Hey, that's how it's done. Do, do, do. Oh. Yes. Oh, let's secure it back. Okay. Before we close this, yeah. before we secure the, the, the screws, do we want to plug it in to see if everything's functioning? That's a good idea. Right? Before we close her up. Yeah. Alexa, turn off Neptune 2. Okay. 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 And then we need the power cord. This. And this goes into here. Yeah. Right? Alexa, turn on Neptune 2. Okay. Do I have to turn it on? Switch it on? Try the other way. It's the power cord all the way in. There we go. Bingo. Everything's functioning? Everything is functioning. Okay. So can you turn it back off? Or just unplug it? So that's what the cords are, right? That's what that looks like. And it's like that. And now we connect it. Go. All right. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you took something from it, whether it was the first part or the second part or just the whole part, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, if you like this video, you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe button. And if you want to see anything else, drop a comment down in the comment section, um, whether it's any other modifications or printers or whatever. I also did a hot end modification. Also did fan modification, also did dual lead screw modification, extruder modification. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I've got a video coming out about, I guess in a week or two, about direct drive of my CR10 Smart and stuff. Anyways, keep coming back. Hit that like button, subscribe button if you like the content. And peace.